Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Guguletu Manana. I just wanted to introduce you to art therapy. So I've written a few uh, words uh, on the introduction and on the, my presentation there on the video, but I just wanted to speak more, some more on it so it's a bit more detailed on how it works and what it is and how we work it with the clients and the people that we work with. So art therapy is a form of psychotherapy that uses art as its primary mode of expression. Basically, it's a creative process that involves the use of art materials such as paints, pastels, pencils, pens, clay, and other art media to express and explore and um, express emotions, thoughts, and experiences. Um, it is a holistic approach to healing and wellness, and it helps people to reconnect with their inner selves and find a sense of peace and balance. Um, so we believe that art therapy uh, is based on the belief that it is a powerful tool for self-expression and healing. And um, people can use art to better understand and manage difficult emotions, develop self-awareness and gain insight into their lives. So also art therapy helps people to express themselves without words, which can be especially helpful for those who have difficulty expressing feelings verbally, um, children or people who have exp experienced trauma or traumatic um, experiences uh, when they were growing up or even as adults, but they cannot put words into it, what, you know, the types of feeling or the, what the experience was like. So how it works in, in practice is the therapist and the clients will work together to create an art making process that is meaningful and therapeutic. So the therapist will provide guidance and support, but the process is ultimately driven by the client. Um, the therapist may use various techniques and strategies to help the client explore and express their emotions, such, such as guided Im Im imagery, uh, metaphor work, journaling, image making so whatever will be relevant and suitable for the client at the time and also the client may help the client look at the work and gain further insights and understanding of their feelings so the benefits of art therapy are numerous and you know it helps people reduce stress manage anxiety and depression it improves communication and interpersonal relationships and increases self-esteem and it can ha also help people gain insight into their lives, express those difficult emotions and work through traumatic experiences. It is used as a tool for self-care and healing and can help people to find a sense of peace and balance in their life. That's all we need. How we heal through creativity in South Africa as a form of self-expression. Uh, we allow individuals to create something beautiful beautiful in the eyes of a beholder meaningful and meaningful from their own experiences. It is a way for South Africans to come together and share their unique stories, cultures and perspectives while also providing an opportunity for healing and growth. I mean, creativity has been used as a form of therapy for centuries. Um, in South Africa, in particular, the creative expression is used to help people heal from the trauma of the past as well as to express hope for the bet a better future. Um, we use art through art, music, dance, and other forms of creative expression. South Africans are able to explore their emotions, find solace and peace, and create that something meaningful for them. And creative healing in South Africa has become increasingly popular in recent years. A variety of organizations such as like um, Sanata, and have been established to provide training and support for creative expressions. These organizations and other, you know, that govern under them um, offer courses and workshops in creative arts therapy, art therapy, music therapy, dance moving, movement therapy, and other forms of creative healing. And creative healing um, has been integrated into the South African education system, which is really a good thing because in some schools, creative arts is used as a way to teach students about their culture, 
history identity and identity and through this creative expression students are able to explore their emotions and experiences while also learning important life skills and also this creative healing um, is also used as a form of community building groups of people come together to create art music dance is a way of building bridges and create a sense of community um, a sense of unity and sense of understanding uh, this way is community art counseling in processes like uh, community mapping come in and using creativity this type of creative expression is a powerful tool for building community fostering understanding and providing so support Creative healing is also used in a variety of healing programs and services. This program provides counseling and support to individuals who have experienced trauma, abuse, or addiction. Through creative expression, individuals are able, are able to come to, sub, to terms with their experiences and find healing. Um, yeah, what we found that um, creative healing has become a very important part of South African culture. It is a powerful tool for healing and growth and understanding. Through creative healing, South Africans are able to explore their emotions and also to foster community, build bridges and provide support. And it is a very powerful and meaningful form of expression that allows individual groups, communities to create something meaningful, meaningful and relevant for their own experiences. So how does art therapy work? It works, you know, through art. Um, the client, the therapist, and the object. So it's a triangular relationship that a client is using the object as their own to explore their own subject matter. And artwork is created during the session as a starting point for um, reflection and, and discussion. And through this process of creating our art and discussing, the client gains insight into their own thoughts and feelings and also their learning about whatever issues and it creates then a great sense of self-awareness and self-acceptance. So why is it important? It's important because it provides a, a unique way of working, an effective way of working with clients that express themselves, um, you know, through uh, working through emotional and psychological issues. Um, it's particularly um, helpful and useful for clients who struggle with communication verbally, um, those with autism, dementia, traumatic brain injuries, um, children, and also those with traumatic memories that are embedded from childhood that they could not expect to find ways for it when they were still young but even as older but also because a therapy is as it recognizes the that how the the body mind and the spirit are, co are connected and it taps into those inner resources to find healing and the transformation on multiple levels so it originated in the 20th century with a psychologist margaret nomberg and edith kramer and then his it, our therapist continued to evolve and grow and the new techniques and approaches that are being developed all the time obviously looking at what the cultural um experiences are and the specifications of the culture of the culture the art therapist and whoever works in art based methods is able to adapt and create um you know, uh, interventions, art therapy interventions that are sensitive and relevant to their cultural context. The techniques and methods of art therapies I mentioned, you know, includes drawing, painting, collage, sculpture, mass making, photography. Um, you know, it depends on the needs and goals of the clients and what you are exploring with the clients. And other techniques may focus on specific uh, specific aspects of the creative uh, process, such as color selection, texture, or composition. Others still may um, involve art using as a way of to explore dreams, memories, emotion. So it depends on the goal and the.
the the needs of the clients and why they are there for in the therapy or the seeking therapy so as i mentioned earlier on it our therapy is becoming increasingly popular in south africa is used to address a wide range of social and psychological issues that are affecting individuals groups um, communities and society at large uh, for example, it's been used with children and adolescents to cope with trauma and violence, to support people living with HIV AIDS, to promote mental health and well-being in communities affected by poverty and equality. And also, however, there have been some challenges in implementing a therapy in South Africa, um, including the lack of these resources and trained professionals. Uh, because most of the professionals that have been available in the variety of creative arts therapies have been trained overseas. Um, but recently, the University of Johannesburg and in, as early as 2020 launched its first honors program and now have moved into their first master's cohort in 2022 and the University of Pretoria is offering. So those are the only two universities. So but community art counseling and other you know uh, therapeutic art techniques have been in existence for a number of years um with other you know professional art therapies and arts therapies pro um practicing in their various mod modalities but despite these challenges many organizations and individuals are working to promote the benefits of art therapies and may to make it more accessible to those who need it. And in South Africa, it's truly needed with our history of trauma and um, that, you know, it's intergenerationally transferred um, and ongoing issues of poverty, ongoing issues of job losses. But there's been really improvement in, in South African culture and the government trying to put um, processes in place and procedures in place for to make this mental health safe spaces for other people and to collaborate with um, people in the mental health profession 